Uh-oh, what am I doing now? We're at Dallas Dodge. You know, it's interesting. My friend, Chris, is thinking about trading for a vehicle. So uh, how does that play out today? Well, I go here and figure out my tag, tag challenges. State of Virginia's got me locked down. Yeah, they got me locked down with my tag in this truck. So uh, what plays out today? I don't know. Danger. Danger once I get here, right? Dangerous. What is the crew? The crew at Dulles Dodge doing today? That's a pretty cool Jeep. I like it. It's got the 35 inch package. So, there he is. There's the man of the hour. Oh, what's up, dude? What's happening? How you doing? I like this. Absolutely. Is it 24 or 23? 24. Any yeah. deals on it? Absolutely. Let me just get this in service, yeah. You want to take a look at this? This? It's a two-row summit reserve. I already have one. No, no it's rare. Eh. I have one. I know. Get it to Chris. Did Chris contact you? Huh? Did Chris call you? Yeah, he's going to be here soon. Yeah, give him this one. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Hey, how you hey, doing? I'm doing well. Good, good. All right, let's go see the, uh, the crazies. They're still here. They haven't left. Yep. How are you? Hey there. There he is. Jake the man. Hey, why don't you lose some weight? Are you trying to look like Muhammad? No, I don't want to be that skin. That's like a twig, you know? What I mean? <laughs> Nobody wants to be a twig. Uh, you're but man almighty. Getting skinny, man. So what's skinny. what's the stuff you're taking? What drugs are you taking now, man? Taking that OZ. OZ? That yeah, but isn't that stuff like a buck fifty every time you get it? Yeah, is it? What is it? You gotta pay to play, man. I know that, but how much is it, sincerely? Buck fifty. Really? Yeah. How, how many times a week you have to get it? Just once a week. Yeah, that's not too bad. Just yeah. give up your drinking habits. No. No. See, now Go to the bars. I like to double down. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. So what are you doing? Good. No, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Looking for me. I was waiting on Gary Grant. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Hey, Trouble. Hey, Trouble. When did they let you out of prison? <laughs> Man, they let you out work too release. early every time. <laughs> work release. You, the, the ankle bracelet's hidden underneath your, your nice pants right there. I tell you, man. What's going on? I just can't believe they released you. Hey, everything. You gotta, you gotta and you and your partner in crime. Your partner in crime is, I just asked me where all the troublemakers are. Right here. And you showed up when I said that. Hey, how do I get rid of my Jeep Gladiator for that? I want that right there. It's easy. Give me your keys, I'll give you mine. Okay. Any keys, any keys you got. <laughs> yeah, we're on it's YouTube. Like no, we're not. It's never live. But, yeah, I'd love to buy this. I really would, but the Gladiator's a problem. Because you're giving the damn things away. You know how to do this. Let's do it. Yeah, I know. I want to check it out. But Muhammad's, I, I gave you another customer. I know. I see that. I just met him. Yeah, is that your Chris. Right it is. So the uh, so Chris is over here trying to buy a Jeep from you. And I'm here just to actually talk to Jake. But now I see this. <laughs> you know That's what I mean? Nice. I like this. So if I can give up my Gladiator and the numbers made sense, we do it. Let's do it. Look at this guy here. This guy go to like the Bahama Breeze or something. Look yeah, at him. Look how pretty right. he is. Look, look at the nice I tan. Like, that's how I work out. You know, look, look at the tan. Look at he's all fit, man. I mean, I think he's got kids, so he's like outside at their sporting I, I events. Am, yeah. yeah, no, I know. I hear that. I know that routine too well. Anyways, what do you think? Where's the key? Let's check it out. Check it out. Get a key. Muhammad's busy with my friend trying to sell him a car. So, where's all the electric vehicles, man? Oh, you poor souls. Have you seen a Ford? Ford, 100. Listen to me. Listen to me. Ford, $130,000 per vehicle loss right now. This is a fact. They just had an $88 billion, $88 billion loss. Their sales are down 84% on their EV vehicles. And oh, wow. Solantis wants you guys to convert this lot into the Ford demise. Unbelievable. Jim Farley is totally screwed for yeah, hundred and thirty thousand dollar loss for a vehicle. That's crazy. Because the green agenda tells you how to live your life. 
You should just get a GoPro, put it on your head. Yeah, I should. That's a good idea, actually. I should, but I don't like them. You know why? It takes me much time to, to download the content. It yeah, does. It you, have to, you have to transfer everything to your computer. Then you get, yeah, it's just right now and I can do it. And people like my two YouTube channels, it's just natural. Yeah. It's raw. Yeah, it isn't me, me and you sitting behind the scenes going, okay, this what you're going to say. Not acting, and yeah. then And then you're going to say this. And I'm not that big a YouTuber, so don't worry, you won't get that. You won't get humiliated too much. Just a little bit. Right. You like this one? Nah, I've had all these. Yeah. I'll pass. No, I really like that. So, um, you know what? Cole is a great guy. Where is he? Where's Cole? I just saw him. Oh, there he is. I, I figure we'll have him take care of me. Because yeah. Bahamas too busy. And I know he's that person. Let's see the golfer. He's always distracted. Hey, Cole. How are you? Good, how are you? Great. Hey, I need a favor. What's up? Grab the key to that right there. Muhammad's too busy. Take his business. Take his number one customer. You tell him how to get it, get it done. All right? Yeah, I'll pass on that. I see how Bobby looks. I'd be scared. I see his... Uh, oh, he does look good. I agree. Right. No, I know. The gray lot. Yes, right. Correct. A good idea to keep this on the side because otherwise it goes somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> you know that story too well. Well, did you hear the story about the track hawk? Did you hear the story? Remember, I was on that track hawk. The black one, yeah. And then I told you the Coons Baltimore Ford. Look at one. Do you remember that? Yeah. It got stolen. Oh wow. Yes, yes. So, we sold so ours. No, I know. But so here's the ball game. So it's on yours, but we couldn't get the deal done. For the record, we tried. We didn't get the deal done. So I go to Coons Baltimore Ford, and theirs is off site, getting fixed at another dealership because it's got a check engine light. And it's got a cracked little uh, mirror. Mm -hmm. So now it's going between Coons Baltimore and Ford and Turpin Jeep over in uh, uh, Clarksville, Maryland. So I'm trying to see the car. I'm, I'm literally trying to go see the car. So the week that I'm trying to see a car, the car's not there, it's there, it's not there. So then I was like, okay, let me come by Thursday. Well, the key guys like you weren't in to be there Thursday. I didn't go there Thursday, but I wanted to go there Thursday. So I go there Friday to go check the car out. I have video of me walking around. Coons Baltimore lot, like your lot here, mm -hmm. we can't find the car. Oh, we wow. find the keys in the back shop. Yeah. We find the keys. We lock, you know, we go to this lot, like we go over your other lot, we go everywhere. No car. So when I came there, they didn't know the car wasn't there. They pull up the so video. It, yeah. They pull up the video. If I had gone there Thursday, the car would have gotten stolen. On Thursday, the hoodie guy showed up in a BMW. And I literally walked in the dealership in the body shop area where the car is being, the glass being fixed, and drove it out. Did you see how they did it? Did they have a key? Like well, you can't see. Like, the car is in the shop, so yeah. the camera just shows the BMW. The BMW is showing up. Wow. You see a guy in a hoodie get out. Yeah. Then a minute, it took him three minutes to complete the job. So I think in Turpin was the inside job. Yeah, it could be. Because somebody could have coded the key. Yeah. So, so up there at Coons, Baltimore Ford, the, the uh, general sales manager for used cars, he'll never, ever buy a track hawk ever yeah. again. That's the second one. That's the second one stolen from me last year. Wow. So, wow. We kept right? in the so yes. This, this yes. gentleman here, yes. you were at Nissan for how many years? Oh, six years. And then before that? Uh, I was at Toyota for about 15 Look, years. He's, he's wow. Both. Are you yes. working today? I, 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 I know. I, I, I am right now. I'm the whole number three. I'm hunting for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And so now he's he's now how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here for two months. Three two months. months. Three Are months, you gonna yeah. stay? Oh, of course. I love oh, the problem. Okay. And Sam brought you along. Yes. Yes, he did. Or did yeah. you bring him along? No, no. He brought me along. Five. All right. Well, who's your favorite brand? Forget all the car. Forget. What's your favorite brand? My favorite brand, CDJR. Really? Yes. <laughs> he knows how to say it, doesn't he? Yes. I thought you say Toyota. And, and I love the customers. Oh, I love it. This guy's trained. He's he's good. Oh, here you go. This is, this is oh, gee, isn't that nice? Look, this is look. An Asian putter. Yeah, it can the, tell. The U.S. putters are a little longer. The yes, Asian it is. Asian. Fact, okay. This, I made this one personally for one of my sales guys. Come on, come in here. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on in. Wow, this, wow. This is custom wow. made. He custom made. Right on, so is this a salesman in. award? Is this, this a salesman this award? This is a putter from Mustafa. Oh my gosh. How do you feel about that, huh? How do you feel about that little itty bitty putter there, huh? This is a putter. Person. I am very, but at least I can expand. <laughs> it doesn't expand, huh? Nothing. No, wow. Real deal. Now are we playing putt putt golf or real <laughs> golf, huh? This is the real stuff. This is... <laughs> oh my gosh, this you're stuff, too man. funny. You're this too stuff. funny. All right, 
Cole, let's get the key. Let's check out the Rubicon 35 package, which is not a 392. It's just the uh, the beefier look, suspension, tires. It's a really good looking vehicle. And if I could honestly get rid of my my Jeep Gladiator for this, I would do it. What was that? Well, the Jeep Gladiator I bought from you guys last year, if I could trade out that for this, I would do it. 100%. And, oh, so it doesn't have the bikini, the, the tiki top, whatever, but here it is. That's so cool. Okay. So, uh, what are you going to do to drive it? Let me get a tag. Yeah, get, get a tag, man. Let's check it out. So, for anybody here watching my channel, we need to hear me. Oh, no. Here we are. Here we are. A Dallas Dodge Jeep, and it doesn't end. It doesn't end. I come down to the dealership to get some tag issues resolved. And, and, and here we are, even my friend Chris is getting so addicted to this stuff, he followed me down, and here we are on a 2024, 2000 or 2024, right? I can't even say it right. It's a Jeep Rubicon 35 package? Yes. Right, so what makes it special, makes it special is the, the a little bigger suspension. Um, it has an additional inch lift on the car. Um, it has 35s on it as well, and it's sitting on 18s or 17s, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to double check. That's all right. So it's basically, it's a tire wheel suspension package, same motor, same interior, but it's more of the beefy look of the exterior, right? So can we make the Jeep Gladiator disappear for this? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Can you help me out? All right, everybody, stay tuned for more Jeep adventures. Am I nuts? Right. What do you think? Um, it's nice. Is that the uh, summit? Reserve. All right, so he's distracted. All right, so let's get in the uh, the Jeep, which I've had a gazillion of these things. I've had a gazillion of these things. So look at the price tag in this thing. Isn't that crazy? Look at this. Look. Beyond believable. Beyond believable. Yours is a 2021. It's used. I can't buy a used vehicle. <laughs> All right, here we are. I get. There we go. I've got the key in my pocket. I've got the uh, ignition. Look at the new screen. That's pretty cool. Now keep in mind, I just gave up. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, I just gave up my my Bronco wrap. Yep. So could this be a replacement for it? Absolutely. <laughs> Somewhat, not really. Power wise, not so much. Looks wise, pretty cool. I mean, if you want to wait till final for the 392 to come back, to come yeah. in. For another 30 grand more than this. Yeah, I mean, 30 grand more. This is already too pricey. All right, let me drive up the road and see if I any fun. It's got enough gas taken up. Tap a tank. All right, here we go. In the Jeep Rubicon. I've had a gazillion of these things. I really have. Fun. That's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go drive around a really cool 35 Rubicon, not a Sahara, lifted, <laughs> wannabe, wannabe vehicle. I'm going to drive the real deal, man. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now, my friend here is trying to trade in his uh, his Sahara modded Jeep, and he just doesn't want to hear on how it just doesn't have a lot of value. Because it's a Sahara modded Jeep to look like a Rubicon. It's all good though. We're all having fun here. And yeah, is anything come from this? You know, I don't think it will. I really don't. But for the record, if I could pull it off, um, if I could pull it off, it would be pretty cool. Because this is the Jeep product. I only wish it had the Bimini top or the uh, Tiki top, whatever you call it, the retractable top. It'd be so much cooler. But it is neat. And even though I've had these Wranglers and I've actually put 35s, I've actually put 35s on by myself. Um, the color's really cute. So I guess we'd love this. Yeah, the kid would be like, oh my gosh, I love this, Dad. I love this. this is my new favorite, Dad. I don't think she'd be that way because it doesn't have the power that the uh, the Bronco the Bronco has. But what would be very funny to me is I've been really wanting the 392, but the 392 is such a gas hog. Eh, and it's just too expensive. Even though I did have a nice used one, a deal here at one point, but it never did play out. But so far, this is really nice. It really is a nice vehicle. And yeah, so it's just kind of the nice new screen. That's pretty cool. And everything else to me, for the most part, is the same. See here, the, this is what's interesting about Jeep. They have the uh, 
window controls up front here, and the Bronco has it back here in front of the uh, the console. And for the Jeep, if you take the doors off, you no longer have any mirrors. You got to buy accessory eyes um, mirrors to enable you to be able to have rear view mirrors. Versus the Bronco, they got smart and they put the rear view these mirrors outside, attached to the pillar or to the part of the non it's not attached to the actual door so the, the temperature seemed to be good on the uh, tires and of course it's in the turn off the engine to save energy not see some here can i go back any further oh this is oh i can so it's pretty cool so this is good so i can actually go back a little further which that is nice that's a nice feature does it have power seats over there i don't know but wishing out on the road, does it do a lot of walking? That's the next project. Walk a lot? I don't know. With the big 35s? Yeah. All right, she comes off the line. And my daughter's biggest complaint about the Jeep Gladiator is it's underpowered. Which in today's world of these cars, in so many ways it is. But it doesn't feel bad. I mean, it's a Jeep. I mean, that's what's kind of ironic to the Jeep world is everybody wants a 392 V8 badass, fast Jeep. But the Jeep in itself is just more like the back road and have fun, take the tops off, get up the road. And what I'll do is I'll put up the window, but it doesn't have electric windows, which that's kind of too bad. You would think, I mean, it doesn't have auto up. And why is that? I really don't know. So now as you get up the road here, kind of get some energy into her. And how does she do? And how does she sound? And does she do the do the typical Jeep walk all over the road? Hands are off the steering wheel. So it has adaptive cruise control. That's nice. Um Right now, we're at 65 at 2,000 RPMs. Not bad. Let's see here. For the fuel mileage, I'd be guess that'll be about a 15 mile. There you are, 14.8. It's brand new, but I'd say it's a 15 mile per gallon vehicle at best, I guess. Um, she's solid. The thing about the Jeeps, these Jeeps don't really rattle per se. You get a lot of road noise. Get a lot of wind resistance on the front windshield, but as far as them just being a really tight vehicle, for the most part they are. Jeep, in some ways, gets a bad name. A lot of people on my YouTube channel reach out and they'll be like, "Oh, the Jeeps, they're not, they're no good, they're junk." You know, um, I think you're thinking of the '70s and '80s, maybe the '90s, but you know, really, the, this, the latest generation Jeeps to me, I, I think they're every bit as good as the average car in the market anymore. I just can't see it how. You would feel like this car is going to fall apart and have constant issues. It's, I don't hear those stories. I mean, Jeep's a pretty reliable product. And it's been around so long. I mean, this this architecture, the motor, electronics, I mean, it just is such true and tried. So here we road. And, you know, in today's world, you're going 65 miles an hour and you're not fast enough. Now, they don't have the, the auto on here, so let's turn the auto on. Ooh, it's on low. So, yeah, and that's one thing about these Jeeps that you've always have noticed. You go up the hills, <clears throat> excuse me, you go up the hills, and they struggle. So, they are, in so many ways, underpowered. I mean, that's just the Jeep personality. And it's, it's too bad they didn't put the inline six hurricane motor in this vehicle. That would have been, that's what I think is the better package from the 392. I think the better package is to make it where um, it's the Hurricane in Line 6. I think this would be a phenomenal vehicle if that was the case. Now, what's interesting here is we got, we got to sink it. I don't know why this thing isn't synced. It's just going to freeze me out of here. And now all the comfort there. And then you got auto sync. There it is. So now it's synced it. See, it's always about all the technology of knowing which buttons to touch and now we got these guys here kind of locking down the lane on me a lot of people out in the rooms here so so yeah so it's unfortunate but i would be really excited if this the jeep 
would have updated for 2024 the Hurricane motor. That would have been such a better package. I mean, I just can't emphasize enough. I have the Hurricane motor. For me, it's a great motor. And it would have made this thing be a whole new animal. So they were 15 miles per gallon. So that's, that's what I kind of figured. And the tires are correctly dynoed for the speedometer. So that's one thing once you, uh-oh, uh somebody's calling. 